Dollar Tree Retail Arbitrage is one of the best ways I know to teach people like you how to make money online. You buy things at the store, you sell them on eBay, on Amazon. And in this video, we're going over the most valuable Dollar Tree electronics, either for personal use, if you're thrifty, or resale, if you wanna make some cash. We're gonna go over the items, go back to my warehouse, I'll show you how I package them, how I sell them, how I list them, and finally, come back around here to talk about dollartree.com bulk buying and secret wholesalers you can buy for even cheaper from let's go we're going to the toy section first looking for battery powered electronic toys i see these spongebob minifigs licensed minifigs always sell very good uh, but we're looking for electronics so i found this kid tech play phone because who in their right mind, what aunt, what uncle, what parent who doesn't have a phone death wish gives a kid a phone, you give them a fake phone, a kid tech play phone. These cost one dollar, dollar tree, duh, and they sell for between eight and ten dollars on eBay. And pro tip, if you go thrifting or garage sailing and you find Fisher Price or VTech kids phones, those sell for even more. My main reason for making this video was because previously I had found universal remotes in this section of my Dollar Tree. Didn't see them today, which kind of sucks because those are a great thing to buy for either putting with a VCR when you sell the VCR or to sell by itself. Couldn't find universal remotes. Did find some awesome night lights, LED night lights. These are not branded. I didn't pick any of these up. They do sell. So do the light bulbs. This stuff sells in quantity, but what I bought for individual sales are these licensed LED night lights. This one is Paw Patrol. There's Toy Story 4. There's Disney Princesses. There's Frozen 2. Tons of great ones. Uh, you could have bought them all. I didn't buy them all. I said, you know what? I'll see what sells. I'll come back. Maybe I'll buy some more. Maybe I'll find a wholesaler for these. That's what we're going to do in this video is go from Dollar Tree Retail Arbitrage to wholesale to beyond. I want you to make money and this is a great way to start, but by no means is Dollar Tree Retail Arbitrage the end goal. So we also have solar steak lights. These go on the side of a walkway and uh, the sun powers them and they light your path, your footpath. Very nice, a dollar a piece. I would sell these in quantities uh, of four, five, six maybe. It really depends how much they weigh. For first class shipping, it must be under 16 ounces. I would estimate, I guess, these weigh about two ounces, but I don't know. So I'm not gonna buy too many and have extra. I'm gonna go conservative, only pick up four. And if that listing gets traction, if it gets sales, then we buy more. Then we find someone on AliExpress, a wholesaler who knows to sell them to us. Same with these LED string lights. I think they weigh two ounces. That's generally what these weigh, uh, just from experience. Garden brand, it's a Dollar Tree brand. I'm gonna get four of these as well, and I'm pretty sure I can sell these. I didn't sell any exact comps on this style, but everyone is always buying LED lights. There are hundreds of sales a day on eBay. They're everywhere. So last week or a week before that, we did a toothbrush empire Dollar Tree video. And I did not show these because they were not at my other Dollar Tree store. These are battery powered toothbrushes. Uh, I'm gonna pair them in a bundle with these replacement heads. Not gonna spend a lot of time showing you the picture. You've already seen my toothbrush video. If you haven't, go watch that. But these are a great quick flip. They're gonna go for between five and 10 bucks plus shipping for the bundle. I wanted to show you guys the calculators. I didn't buy these. I do not think that currently they're a good flip. Maybe in a few months when school starts, but for now, uh, people are selling them for five bucks free shipping, and that's like making a penny. It's not making any money at all. They either stole them from a Dollar Tree, or they got them out of a dumpster, or they bought like a liquidation pallet, uh, because the market is flooded with these Jot brand calculators. Okay, I think we're fine for now. And if you like these videos, please give it a thumbs up, comment below, and if you're not subscribed, I think you should be because we're doing a lot of great content like this and I want to help you make some money on your own terms. Okay, we got our stuff right there. 
18 items, now back to the warehouse. Okay, so I've got everything laid out. 17 items here, not 18, I miscounted. And uh, these two, I weighed them, they weigh two ounces a piece. So I could have bought more, right? With first class mail, you can have up to 16 ounces. So I could have had seven of these plus a poly bag or six of them in a small cardboard box, like similar to this six by six box I have right here. Might be tough to fit six of these, but these LED string lights would certainly fit in there. Uh, we're gonna go probably a buck fifty or two bucks per on each of these. So we're gonna sell, I would sell um, like six of these for 12 bucks plus shipping. You're gonna make about $6, same with that. With these toothbrush and uh, replacement brush head combos that I'm, I'm just gonna make the, um, I'm gonna make the listing with these two, I think I can get between 12 and 15 bucks. And I'm gonna offer free shipping on those just because it seems like a better deal. Um, I don't have a rule for when I do free shipping versus added shipping, I just kind of go by feel. If I wanna show the buyer like, hey, you're not getting ripped off, shipping just costs a lot of money, then I'll, I'll add shipping into the listing. But if not, I'll just do you know free shipping and try and get the better eBay search placement. This Kid Tech Play Phone, these are going for eight or nine bucks. Uh, the Fisher Price version goes for about 20 bucks on Amazon and eBay. I've sold a bunch of those. Obviously not Fisher Price, but still it's a cheap alternative. And you know, you don't want to give your little baby a phone. They're going to destroy it. This is a great cheap way to keep your kid happy with all the beeps and talks it has right there. These, I would say, are like the best thing I found. Anything branded is always going to be good to flip. Uh, these things are going for between $6.95 and $10, and they are very light. We're talking nothing here. If you use uh, like PirateShip.com to buy shipping, is going to cost more than like $3.50 to ship anywhere. Like if I were to ship to Los Angeles, this would cost $3.49, and I'd put it in a poly mailer because this plastic packaging is pretty tough, and inside there, I don't think that little, that little light, it's an LED light looks like, I don't think it's going to break. Uh, yeah, LED nightlight. So we've got Toy Story 4, Avengers, Paw Patrol, and Disney Princess. These are all high in demand brands. You know, it's licensed stuff. There was more, there was like Minions. There was um, some other like kids TV shows. I could have bought them all. I, I didn't obviously. Uh, I think that if you really want to make some money, figure out which of these sells the most and then buy all you can because once these sell out, this, you know, six to 10 bucks per, per item is gonna turn into like 10 to like 14 bucks per item. Night lights sell. You know, you're gonna have some night lights that sell for a lot more than they cost to buy at a store or to like buy from Alibaba or a wholesaler. And if you wanna figure out how to do that wholesale next level stuff, well, we're going back to my house and I'm gonna talk you through it because I want you to make some money. I really do. Okay, we're back at home. We've talked about what to buy. We've talked about how to package it. Now we'll talk about private label, wholesale, and just bulk buys in general. For this video, I researched three of the items, the kid's cell phone, the solar stakes, and the Disney LED night lights. I thought those were the best out of all the things I saw. So uh, when we're going after the cell phone, the first thing, I knew by the look of it, that was definitely off Alibaba. Definitely cheaply Chinese made toy. I'm not saying it's a bad toy. I'm just saying they are dirt cheap. And you know what? Boom, we found it right there. It is on Alibaba.com, or at least a similar model is. Now, don't do what they did. If you're gonna do private label stuff, do not even think about encroaching on a corporation's intellectual property or a person for that matter. Just don't do it. You don't need to do it. You can rely on keywords. You can rely on bright colors. You don't have to copy Apple or Microsoft or <laughs> Gateway. <laughs> it's you know, the year 2001. You don't have to do that. You can just make your own. Uh, the only issue you're going to run into is that the time and the cost to get stuff from China to America is uh, a long time and a lot of money. So either you're paying an exorbitant air freight fee for 45 cent toy cell phones, or you wait nine months to a year and your money's tied up when you could be using it. So I don't recommend doing this right now. We do live in a global economy. I'm not saying it's bad to do that. I'm just saying right now, 
it probably isn't your best bet unless you have a very long-term plan and a long runway. The next thing I looked up was the solar stakes. I saw the solar stakes, or at least a similar model, selling for less in case quantity, right? So obviously, Dollar Tree is making money off these. They're not buying them for a dollar. They're probably buying them for, you know, 45 cents a piece. I'm not really sure. Uh, you can buy them for, it looks like, 69 cents a piece in a case. And I would bet, and I haven't bought from this company before. I don't know them. I just looked it up. And I would bet that they're going to charge you some sort of shipping fee for orders, you know, under a certain dollar amount. If you were to buy a lot, you could negotiate that, but I'm just assuming that there's going to be a shipping fee included if you don't pick it up, right? Uh, because it's a case, right? It's a case that's going to cost you like 35 bucks. They're not making money off that, but it just shows you this is how Dollar Tree functions. If you want to do wholesale stuff, you don't have to rely on other countries. You don't have to buy from Malaysia or Thailand or China, or anywhere, you can buy from Los Angeles, New York, all these cities and states that have uh, wholesale distribution hubs. So I have the website there, you can buy from them. Again, not affiliated, I don't know if they work. What I do know what works, like to get ungated for example, is katytexaswholesale.com. So a lot of you are gonna ask like, hey Blake, but I can't sell certain things, what do I do? I can't sell groceries. We well, can go to katytexaswholesale.com, put an order in from them, and they will work with you with Amazon to get you ungated using invoices. It is not an ungating service. It's just a company, a distributor who will sell to you. You buy 10 of one item, they ship it to you, you show Amazon your invoice, Amazon checks with them, and boom, you're ungated. Great way to do business in America. Not that it's bad to import stuff. I import stuff. I'm just saying right now with the way things are, it's a lot safer in terms of like the time things get to you to stay domestic. Now, the third thing I tried to find, and I was kind of fruitless in my efforts, or maybe not. Maybe it was actually a big thing to understand this, but I couldn't find the, the Disney nightlights for cheaper than Dollar Tree. I couldn't find it. I found them for like $3.33 wholesale. I found them for $2.97 wholesale, and I also found them backordered on DollarTree.com in cases of 24. So you know when I said earlier I would buy all these up? I was 100% right. These are backordered. They're in demand. You see the completed sales on eBay. I wouldn't sell these on Amazon. I don't know how the branding goes, how the licensing goes, how the ungating might go. If you can, more power to you. But just to be safe, I would buy a bunch of these, maybe buy them off the website, get them on back order, and just coast on those. Because you're making not like $9,000 per sale, but if you sell it for 10 bucks, you pay a dollar for it, you pay 350 shipping, you pay you know a buck 25 in fees, we're making like 400% ROI. Small items, but wouldn't you rather get paid to learn the basics than pay some jackass $2,000 for a BS course about this exact same stuff that I'm teaching you for free on YouTube? If you would rather do that, don't like the video, don't subscribe, just find some charlatan who'll take your money. If you do like free info like this, Dollar Tree retail arbitrage, wholesale tips, private label tips, please give the video a big thumbs up and comment below with what you want to see next because I make these videos for you guys. I want you to have the control over your income not to be worried. And Dollar Tree retail arbitrage might not fix that, but it's the first step. See you guys later.